Good morning, WeFam. It is 5 a.m. We are at the Lisbon Airport, and today we are headed to the UK. All right, through security, onto our gate. We're we're cutting it a little close this morning, but it's a local airport, so we figured, eh. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we figured, eh. Hey. And then there's a lot of people at A ton of people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, we got here as the gate closes. I think with Ryanair, which we're, we're flying to Stansted, is that it always closes, but that's really just when they start checking in, it seems. It's annoying that all flights like aren't the same, because you don't know like if they're gonna close, close it, so you're freaking out, but then they don't. Or they do, and you're crying at the gate right. saying, let me in, I can see my plane, and it's right there, but they won't let you in. <laughs> <laughs> which has happened to us, but only once. <laughs> They we're taking Ryanair. It's been great, but they are changing some policies November 2018, which will change my mind about them before we were able to sneak our bags on. Um, not really sneak, I mean, it, it was policy where you could bring an extra bag and they'll just put it in the lower container. That policy is no longer available starting November 2018, where you will be charged for two bags. Um, you'll only get one for free on the plane. Which is so sad because that's the reason we like Ryanair so much. Yeah, I mean, it's inexpensive and they give you a quote unquote free check bag. Yeah, but no longer is that available, so you can take EasyJet for pretty much the same price. Um, and they, cha they charge like $50, I think, per bag, um, which is crazy. That's just too much money. Plus, they make you print your tickets. Yesterday I spent over two hours trying to find somewhere to print my ticket. Another fun thing about Ryanair is that um, you often don't seat together unless yeah. you pay extra. Yeah, we're too cheap for that. Yeah, so, we'll so you're in seat four, I'm in seat 16, and I'll yeah. see you later. This is the situation. We went through immigration. It took forever, like almost two hours, an hour and a half. They take immigration so seriously here in England. And then we got a ride by the little bus to the car rental place. And the car rental that I got only has a 90 mile limit each day, which is crazy. That's like driving an hour and a half each day and that's all we get. Plus if we go over that, then we have to add 50 pounds. That is crazy. Crazy. So we left that rental car company um, and are now looking at other rental car companies. Josh is at Europe Car right now trying to figure out um, if we can get a rental plan for cheaper or um, close to the price that we paid for the other one because that is so much money. I've never even heard of a rental, like a mileage limit when renting cars, like a 90 mile mileage limit per day. That's just crazy. So when you're renting cars, definitely check out that, make sure that that's not the case. I had no idea that was even a thing. I looked it over and that's unfortunate because now we're stuck here trying to figure out a car at this very moment. So we're checking out prices. Uh, it seems that one of the things here, at least what I was told by the guy at Eurocar, is that you need to have coverage through them, at least that's their policy. So even if we found a good price, they would have to add on like basic coverage and insurance through them. Like that's their policy. We've so, never come across that. No, this is, anywhere. it's all very strange. Is this just U UK policy stuff? I don't know. Yeah. I've never rented a car. Yeah. We've never had like a daily mileage limit before. No. That was yeah. strange. All of this is all right. completely different. Well, but we're going to do a little. Expensive. Yeah. It, the price shot up about two to three times. Yeah, that's crazy. So we'll, we'll try and figure it out. We'll check okay. in. All right, we ended up going back to the original people to rent the car from. It, uh, we ended up paying, what, over $200 from what we were expecting to begin with, which 
is an expense that we weren't planning on spending. But it is cheaper than trying to rent a car on the day from all the other companies because of all their oh policies and stuff. Oh my gosh. So you have to read all the fine print. We are planning Lesson long learned. drives longer than an hour and a half most days. <laughs> Who um, doesn't drive more than an hour and a half? But I will say it was, they were being kind of tricky. He was like, I'm giving you the cheapest price. It's 288 pounds. That's true. And I was like, so do you have one that's not like a bundle and it's just like extended mileage? And he's like, no. I was like, do you have unlimited mileage? He's like, no. We asked a lot of questions. And then I said, do you have an upgrade for mileage? Like you had to word it just right. And he goes, let me see. And he looked, and then he's like, oh yeah, we have a cheaper price for 180 pounds, which is still like, whew, 230 bucks. Yeah, whew. but we have the car have for car. almost three weeks, so yep. um, we will pretty much have freedom all throughout the UK, and well, all throughout England and Wales. So lots of fun things to come, but that was a major expense we weren't planning on. We have some Wayfam waiting for breakfast for us, and we're an hour away, and they've already been waiting an hour. That also adds to the stress because I hate people waiting on me. <laughs> we're gonna head on the road now. Yes, I accidentally went to the wrong side. This is the driver's side now. Josh will be driving on the other side of the road. I was on the wrong side. We'll see how many times I do that. <laughs> oh, this day! Are we going this way or this way? Oh, I don't even, I don't even know. Oh. Okay, so we're over two hours late because of all the hassle. Uh, and we're meeting Wayfam. We're supposed to be friends. They've been waiting literally for two hours for us. This, but we're never, finding parking has been so hard. We're never this late. Yeah. Like it never takes this much hassle and work to get into a country for us. Yeah, the one parking place that we could find was um, only cash and we didn't have cash. So I had to go to an ATM, get cash, and, and get, get coins, yeah. so that I could pay for it. Oh my gosh, but finally, we have parking, we're going to no longer brunch, it's lunch. Yeah, with, I hope we just didn't ruin their day, that's the, that's the only reason. I, I don't care personally other than we're meeting someone else. I know, it sucks. I get major anxiety, so in the car my palms were all sweaty, and I was like just stressing out being so late. I hate it, and I'm hungry and hangry and just too much. Hey this Ashley, day has not gone I just well. wanna, I just want to pet your head and say, Welcome to the UK. <laughs> you, you freaking K? I've already spent so much money already. I've done nothing yet. <laughs> All right, let's enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Get all of us in it. Right. I can hold that if you want. You got it? Okay. okay. We're good. Split. We're good. Get in here. Oh, that's wrong. Flip it over. All right. Okay. There we and go. cheers. <laughs> There we go. Wow. Is that okay? That's fantastic. That's thank right. you. Brother, I can't thank you enough. See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Alright, that was awesome. We got to hang out with Sean and Chris for Amazing. breakfast. Breakfast. We, again, sorry guys that we were so late. Traffic was crazy. Guys, if you are in the places that we are in, we love meeting up with you. As long as we have time. We had time yeah. today. It was so great meeting up with them. Yeah, and it it's so cool to hear, like, they've always wanted to come travel and go to, go to England. And here they are in England. Um, because, yeah. because of videos. Amazing. Not just our videos, but because of travel videos. So that's exciting to be yeah. part of that. I love it. Guys, yeah. it's so fun to meet up with you. Okay, but now it's off to Bath. Oh my gosh, we have like two and a half hours drive. We're on the road in our little car. We've got our music pumping and we're taking in the England sights. Yep, just local music <laughs> from England. It's not local, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, are we getting off the freeway? All right, I was supposed to merge onto the highway. <laughs> this is the third, fourth time Josh has gone the wrong way. <laughs> Listen, the instructions, the instructions for English roads are not complete. And they're like freeways, so he goes the wrong way on a freeway and it is yeah. not easy to get back on it, it's so like, it takes us forever like to a, find it. It's like it. a merge, it's like you split, the highway splits and it's like, so keep cute. straight. And you're like, we're straight. So, we'll figure it out. We have already been lost four times and we've been here for a few hours. Don't worry about it, we'll be fine. Um, also, I've decided to name our car um, Perry. Perry because the color of it, I'll show you a little later, is Periwinkle in my opinion. So um, we're gonna be with little Perry for the next two and a half weeks. Backcountry B roads. They go into Bath. Going to Bath. 
footage I'm gonna get of just random stuff like fields and trees and the sun and clouds. It's, it, it's because it's mostly gonna be just blurry stuff flying by That's the camera. True. You won't be able to see what it is. There's a field! Okay. It's over there! It's over the hedge! Alright. <laughs> you may stop now. <laughs> Look over here guys! Wait! Over here! Over here guys! Oh, it's so beautiful! We have finally arrived in Bath, and this place is so cute. Ashley's typing the code in now. Doot, doot. Oh, don't show it on camera. <laughs> it's right next to a mansion. This Airbnb is called The Old Stable, and we're pretty sure it used to be the old stables to this estate over here. I'm guessing. The mansion. At the very least, it's a cute name. Wow, this is so nice. Oh, there's a bathroom. Oh, it's not ginormous. This is way bigger than I thought it was. Oh, it's ginormous in that. <laughs> oh my gosh. The dead animal on the floor. <laughs> we have a little outdoor space. It goes down into a garden. A cute kitchen. Look. This is why I wanted to stay at this place. Is this fridge right here? They're so cute. And this this place is so matches. Cute. Oh my gosh. You love it. I do love it. This is amazing. Okay, let's check out okay. this bedroom. First impressions. Whoop. One open room. Nice bed. I love this little. I love the details. Yeah. This place feels like like a miniature estate. Okay. Like all the details. There's more! Wait, there's an upstairs? I don't know what's up there. There's another bedroom. Okay. This is a giant bedroom and it has a bathroom included! What? Maybe I stay in this room and you go to the other one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This place is so like nice. It's one. so much bigger than I thought it was. Wow. Little desk. It's so clean and crisp. Yeah. And I love the big windows. It's got like a mix of Swedish style and English style, according to my interpretation. Okay, if this is an old stable, then this is a bomb ass stable. Like this is where the, the cows and the... What, what lives in a stable? <laughs> Horses. We're living in a stable, and I can recommend okay. this stable just based on the impression we're having now. The stairs. There's a little, a little um, picture of Bath here. There's a little rubber that goes through Bath, and then every good Airbnb host leaves little pamphlets. I love pamphlets. <gasps> a toy area and books, and guess what? The books are all in English. We could read them if we wanted to. Want me to read your bedtime story? Yes. Oh my gosh! Three rooms? <laughs> did you check the I listing? I didn't know this was three rooms. Did you check the listing? Oh, I did, but I didn't know it was this giant. I do love this room. I love the light right here. And look at the view. There is so much good light in this place. The view is beautiful. I was like. A huge hill right there. It's so pretty. We get to stay here! <laughs> we already went to the grocery store, so we're gonna cook some dinner because we got up at what, 4 a.m.? Yes. And um, it, it is now 6 p.m. and we're just arriving. And we had a no sandwich way. with um, those the two way fam that we met earlier. Yeah. So that's all we've had today. Yeah, so we are hungry, hungry little hippos. But this place is amazing. We love it. And um, link will be in the description if you want to come to Bath and check this place yeah. out. Um, 
This is amazing. Like, I, I cannot believe how nice it is. When I talk to Airbnb hosts and when I rent Airbnbs, Josh never knows what I, he, I we're going to no come idea. to. Like, he never and knows. And even what Ashley didn't like. know this one. I didn't know that it was three bedrooms, for sure. This is, like, much bigger than I expected. You can, you can fit legitimately a full-size family in here. Oh, I wish my family was here to enjoy it with us. <laughs> Laura, why did you leave? Yeah, Laura, we have so much space for you. Come to England. <laughs> but, Batman, we've gotten, like, like just a tiny glimpse it's it gonna be so amazing cute. okay so the next video we are going to show bath more but this is just us arriving in england yeah so we're gonna make some dinner and then um we'll see you in a little bit yeah this is the beginning of our sorry was that oh yeah no go ahead no 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 that, 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 no no um, go this ahead this is the beginning of our england and wales series mm -hmm. we're going to be making lots of videos here eating lots of food and i'm sure the videos will be lot. much better than this one this is just a vloggy vlog as we arrive yeah, so this is Arriving to England. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Is that the end of the vlog? I, I wasn't thinking so, but uh, you just buy a locker like that. <laughs> no, I guess it's not the end. I just wasn't sure what I mean, What else are we going to show? Cooking? All right, that is it from England for the day. We are in Bath, we are loving this Airbnb, and we cannot wait to show you more of England. We have a lot more videos from England to come. In fact, we may even be headed to Wales to visit some friends whom you might know. Hmm. Anyways, Wayfam, I hope we encouraged you to get out there and travel today. It was so fun meeting with other Wayfam today, in like in real life, in person. And they said we encouraged them to get out there and travel because they were in England and they're from like the States. So that's awesome. Anyways, we will see you in the next video. Good night.